Hi guys. Let's try this again. I tried filming this before, got interrupted. Um, something fell out of its pan. Anyways, I have a haul for you guys. Uh, part of it is stuff that I've bought recently. The other part is from the Beauty Con BFF box. I did pay for all of this. This was not sent to me. I bought it. Same goes with the stuff I have in here. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to kind of jump into it. The first thing I got in my BFF box, of course, are these mini ears, which flimsy a little bit, but I'm still liking them because I'm a big Disney fan and anything Disney kind of just makes me happy. Also along the line of Disney in that box came these jewelry inspired uh, temporary tattoos and they're the more gold leaning, um, like the gold leaning tattoos. So these are quite pretty. I haven't tried any of it yet, but it has two sheets of tattoos and I'm excited to try that out. Next we have something else that I was like super excited to get because I'd seen what was in this box already. Uh, this is the Hand Food by Soap and Glory. Um, it's just a tiny little like travel size, I believe. I don't believe this is the full size. I believe the full size is bigger. I am not completely positive though. This um, is the 1.69 fluid ounce, so I'm excited to try that. I always could use more hand creams, and lately since winter, my hands have been dry, so I'm excited to throw this into my purse and start using it. Next I have, um, well, let me start this off by saying I do have a couple of these things already, so I'm probably going to like give stuff to my sister. Like, for example, this Revlon lip color. This is in the shade Adore? Um, no, sorry, this is in the shade Obsession, which I already have, if I can find it. Sorry if you guys see my room, it is kind of messy right now. I'm in the process of decluttering. Um, no, apparently I can't find it. I can find the other colors, <laughs> the other two colors, but not that one color. Um, but yeah, I already have this color, I believe. Um, oh, actually, I was wrong. I don't have this color. I thought it was a different color that it was coming in. This is like a hot pink, so actually this this will be neat to try. I was thinking that it was Temptation, which they are pretty similar. Like, even in, in my lighting, you really can't tell that there's a difference. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll try it out. So that should be fun. I do like the Revlon uh, matte lip colors. Next we have a nail polish. I do not have this. I do have like some of this brand, but I don't have this color. This is Essie's Marshmallow. And yes, my nails are chipped right now. Ignore that. But I'm excited to play around with like a white nail color because I don't think I have any whites. I just have more nude colors and pastel colors. So next we have a skincare product. This is the Murad Hydrating Toner. And it comes in a little spray bottle. It looks like this. It's half an ounce. Um, I've really been into skincare lately, so this is something I was kind of excited about when I saw it. Next, something I'm not as jazzed about because I read really bad reviews, plus I kind of already had this. So, um, this is the Garnier Fructis Style new full and plush root amp root lifting spray mousse um it is a very strange product i haven't actually tried it out on my hair yet i have sprayed it though and it was kind of strange um and this one smells weird so i don't know if i'm gonna touch this i'll probably give this one to my sister because like i said i already have one or i'll take the one i have back to target i believe it was that i bought it at um i'd have to look for the receipt uh, next in the box was something I'm not going to open up because last time I opened it up, it fell out. This is a ColourPop highlighter. Um, let me see if I can get it to focus. It doesn't want to focus. This is the, um, Super Shock Cheek Pearlized and Stole the Show. I do have it swatched on my hand. It's, it, it's just a very shimmery kind of glittery highlight. I don't know how much I'm going to really like this because I don't know if I want glitter so much on the tops of my cheeks, but I'll play around with it. My only issue is it is like falling out of the pan. Like it fell out of the pan earlier when I opened it. So I was kind of disappointed with that. 
but that seems to be what I've noticed a lot of ColourPop stuff seems to do that from videos that I've watched anyways uh, the next things I believe are just I think the last two things I have in here are just these two um, kind of gift card coupons one is from Nike it came in a little orange box um, it's $20 off 50 a $50 purchase and then this one, which I'm actually more likely to use, this is $10 off a $50 purchase at Aeropostal. I do tend to shop there. I do like the stuff that they have there. So, okay. Oh, one last thing. Then this box is done. Uh, this is something I already have. This is the Falshi, Falshies? Falsies Push-Up Drama Mascara. Um, this is not a dual-ended thing. A lot of people thought it was. I thought it was. But the top screws off and that's it. Um, this isn't a bad mascara, but like I said, I already have it and eh, it's an okay mascara. It's probably something I'll just keep, um, in my backup drawer because I could always use more mascara and it wasn't an awful mascara. So moving on, I have some lip colors because I've gone a bit lip crazy lately. Actually, I even have more than that, but I don't know why I didn't take it out. Um, I have a couple of eyeliners too. So the first thing I'll show you guys is the eyeliners, just so I can stick them back up in their spot, if I can find the other eyeliner that is. No, that's not it. There we go. Okay, so I bought two Essence eyeliners recently because I they have Target. Ugh. Target has Essence now, at least the couple that I've been going to do. So I grabbed two um, eyeliners. The first one is their waterproof eyeliner pen. Um, it is a felt tip pen. It is the blue one. This is in black. Uh, I believe this just says, yeah, it just says eyeliner pen. It doesn't have a name. But it's just black. It doesn't seem to be anything super special, but I'd have to play around with it first to really know if I like it. Next we have the Essence Gel Eye Pencil in Waterproof. This is an ultra, no, this is in Black Blaze. And this does twist up. So that's kind of neat. Um, this I actually think I like a little bit more. It seems, it comes across on my hand a little bit darker. Like I said though, haven't played around with it yet. So I don't have a, my full opinion on them just yet. Next, something I do have an opinion on, but I think I'm actually going to wait for a review video to sit down and talk about, you know, pros and cons with this. Um, these are the lip, the liquid suede lip colors from NYX. A few, I want to say two months ago now, I got the like dark purple shade, which is amethyst, and I really enjoyed it. So I decided to grab more. I am missing one of them. I don't know where it went, but I got the shade Cherry Skies as well, which is a gorgeous red. The next one I got is this really pretty purple, like light purple in the shade Sway. And we'll just swatch that out. It's like a lavender. It's so gorgeous, guys. And I apologize for the scratches. I have a cat. She's annoying. She doesn't like me. Mm. Then I got Stone Fox, which I'm super excited about because I don't have anything like this in my collection. I don't know how often I'll be wearing it, but it's just like a really cool toned gray color. I'm so totally down for it. Now these don't, the, the only thing is these kind of smell like paint to me. I don't know. Does anybody else think they smell like paint? More lips, more NYX lip products. Um, these are the other things I bought from NYX. These are the Intense Butter Glosses. They look like they're the same color almost, but they're not, I promise. I got it in them in the shades Toasted Marshmallow, which is this shade up here. And then I got the shade uh, Spice Cake. I actually bought Spice Cake first and then really liked the formula of it, so I bought Toasted Marshmallow. They look okay. There we go. On my arm, they don't look as similar, but yeah. So that's what those look like. I, I quite like them so far, but I've only worn them a couple times. So then I bought some of the original NYX glosses, their Mega Shine lip glosses, because surprisingly enough, I didn't have any of these in my collection. 
Um, so I grabbed the one that everybody's always talking about, which is beige, and it's just like a really light creamy pink color. It doesn't seem very beigey at all to me, but I could be wrong. It's just a light pink color. And then the other one I grabbed was Dolly Pink, just because I liked the name and because I like, like, pink colors. So we will swatch that one. That's that one right there. I love the smell of these. I can't think of what they smell like, but I really like it. Uh, the last NYX product I got, I am wearing right now. This is one of their high voltage lipsticks. This is the first one I've tried, but now that I've tried it, I want more. Uh, this is in the shade Burlesque. And let me... That's just like two swipes. It is so creamy. Um, I may do a review on some NYX lip products soon. Um, just kind of like mini reviews in one big video. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, the next thing, the last thing actually, no, not the last thing, close to the last thing, uh, the last lip thing I have to show you guys is from Revlon. And this is one of their Ultra HD uh, lip lacquers. And this is in the shade Smoky Topaz. And guys, this is just so gorgeous. It's just like a really creamy nude and ugh. I love it. I haven't actually worn it yet, so I don't know how it feels on the lips, but on my hand, it feels kind of like a more gel cream texture. Ugh. My hand looks so weird now because it's got swatches all over it that don't want to come off. Um, that happened to me the other day. I was categorizing my makeup stuff and I had to do swatches for it and oh uh, my arm. Um, which is something I may talk about in another video, actually, but I got a couple of NYX palettes because I've been wanting to try them. I haven't had the best luck with NYX palettes in general, but I wanted to try some of the new ones, so I got one of the Avant Pop. Uh, this is a Nouveau, Nouveau Chic? Nouveau? I don't know how to say it properly. Um, but this is just kind of your basic neutral colors, and... You've got a good mix of cool tones and warmer tones and then some that are kind of in the center. So I actually my whole look today is from that palette. Um, I just did like a really basic kind of slightly smoked out look um, using the kind of grayish color right here. This darker brown right here because they're the more kind of matte-ish colors. And then using this deep, like, gray-black to kind of smoke it out. And then using this lovely, like, champagne-y gold color all over the lid. It's not showing up. There we go. So I really do enjoy that palette. I think it feels really soft, really pigmented, um, and I can't wait to play with it some more. So uh, next I have a, um, I have the two the go-to palettes. I don't know if there's more than two. I only saw two at my Target. I've only been seeing two at my Target. So actually we'll go over this one first. This is the more neutral one. This is in the shade, or this is in the, yeah, this is in Wanderlust. If I can open it. Okay. So yeah, this is in Wanderlust. This is the more neutral of the two that I got. Um, so you have a, a bronzer, a blush, and a highlight, which all seem to be decently pigmented, I say, as I can't even see the blush on my fingers. Um, but yeah, they actually do all seem to be decently pigmented. It's just not showing up on my finger. <laughs> um, and then, like I said, some really pretty kind of just neutrally. Those are more warm shades in this palette. Then we have the other one, which I'm actually more excited about because it's more jewel toned. And this is the... Bon Voyage palette. Once again, it's got the blush bronzer highlight. Um, I haven't really sat down and compared the two br blush bronzer highlights yet, um, so I might have to do that. But I love the jewel tones in this palette. They are just super gorgeous. I don't know why. Okay, there we go. This is a gray tone. I, it was showing up as more white before, but I'm really like looking forward to playing with the jewel tones because I've been getting a little bit more adventurous with my makeup, although today it does look fairly, not simple, but yeah. 
so that is what I got. This is a long haul, as per usual. I hope you guys liked it. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below, and I will talk to you all later.